Hello guys and welcome to my new video and today we'll be looking at a question that I get asked a lot on my stream mainly the difference between Restoration Druid and Mistweaver Monk which one's better, which one's... how how do the gameplays differ in raid scenarios, in fireman scenarios and things like that so this is a question that I've been asked a lot as you can see I am still... haven't moved out there's no green screen behind me, there's hats behind me here as well in the video as well, uh, so hopefully in the next couple of weeks everything's going to settle down and be fixed so I do apologize for you know maybe lack of green screen and things like that but let's look at things like raiding playstyles for Miss Weaver and Resto Druid let's look at five man playstyles and let's look at 8.1 changes and there has been some proposed changes by Blizzard which will affect one of the healers greatly in raiding scenarios and we'll talk about that at the end of the video. So first of all, let's look at the raid playstyle. And I want to look at Mistweavers. I've been raiding as a Mistweaver in mythic content. I've been doing a lot of the bosses and Mistweavers overall are a very strong healer. Actually, before we go, we're going to even look at these, I want to mention that Resto Jude and Mistweaver Monk are both very strong healers in Feynman content and in Raid content. All of those or both of those specs were included in World 4 skills. They are part of one of the highest Mythic Plus keys being done right now. So both of them are performing really well. It's just they provide different benefits to the groups in Raids and Feynman's and the playstyle differs a lot. So in Raiding Scenario, Mistweaver is kind of strong. You can spec into multiple different roles. First of all, Miss Weaver is the best single target healer in the game right now. That's one of the strong niches of a Miss Weaver monk. Whether that'll be in raid scenarios or mythic plus scenarios, Miss Weaver can provide the most single target healing depending on how you're going to use your suiting, Miss Developing, Miss Vivify, and things like that. And depending on which talents you're going to go with. But they, their single target healing is insane. And some of the changes that are happening in 8.1 are kind of going to nerf that to some extent. But in raiding scenarios, Mistweaver can do great AoE healing, can do great spot healing, can be great single target healer. They're really strong at nearly everything what they do. Like I mentioned, single target healing is really strong. AoE healing is stemming from Essence font and especially most of the raiding Mistweavers will be specking into Upwelling. Essence font is most likely going to be one of your top heals in raiding scenarios and a lot of your AoE healing is coming from essence font from the initial heal and the hot that it provides and then after that you can use your other heals to proc double mastery as well so essence font is one of the core abilities and it kind of intertwines with all your other spells through double mastery procs and i talk about that in my raiding guides and my fireman guides how to proc it and things like that but essence font is one of the core spells in terms of raid cooldowns revival is a decent cooldown it can be very good the main advantage of it is that it's instant if the raid takes a big hit it'll instantly heal the people which can be strong in certain situations but it doesn't really compare to what restoration druid provides in terms of tranquility but we'll talk about that now so resto druid in raid scenarios is a lot different playstyle it's changed a lot from legion coming into bfa in legion there was a lot of rejuvenation spam there was a lot of wild goat spam Tranquility was strong, but it it's not nearly as strong as it is right now in BFA. Tranquility for the rest of Druids who are raiding high-end content or raiding any content right now. You know that one of the default builds is using Inner Peace with 2 minutes Tranquility. You'll probably be picking a Flourish. And for a lot of boss encounters, you'll probably be using something like, if it allows for, Tranquility into Flourish. You'll be trying to get as many Wild Growths in between before using the cooldowns and things like that, Rejuvenations to get the Mastery procs, but a lot of your healing is coming from your healing cooldown. It's not really unfair for me to say that Resto Druid is the healer that relies most on their healing cooldown. Because Tranquility is so strong, it's hard to determine its true value when you combine it with Flourish and things like that, but it's one of the healers that relies the most on healing cooldowns. You'll notice that Tranquility can be your top or second best heal in a lot of the raid encounters. A lot of people pick that two minute Tranquility with inner peace talent. If they can't do that, sometimes they go with Spring Blossoms and things like that. So there, are, there is a little bit of variation, but Tranquility is the key. And it's, again, it's not really unfair to me to, to say that once you use your Flourish or once you use your Tranquility, 
after that you're kind of hotting up you're using your you know you making sure the basic of restoration jewel that they're like keeping up life bloom keeping up efflorescence keeping up you know rejuvenation priority targets but the healing outside of cooldowns doesn't feel that great at least that's my personal opinion right now and i'd love to hear your thoughts about this like it feels like i'm waiting for that flourish i'm waiting for that tranquility combo to some extent if the, if the fight allows for it so 8.1 changes are going to possibly change that but let's look at five man playstyle and the five man playstyle is a lot different again here first of all mysterious yet again really really strong single target healing and it's one of the things that makes them really strong in five man situations because there is a lot of tank he healing and especially if you don't pair up with a blood dk blood dk's have been the most popular tanks for higher end keys and or it's self healing is too strong but if you don't have a blood dk it's fine miss weaver single target healing is the best in the game right now and they can carry it in five man dungeons there's a lot more emphasis or at least depending on how you play there's a lot more emphasis on healer dps and this is where my personal opinions come in i enjoy miss weaver dps i do like the whole you know tiger palm black elk kick rising sun kick combo and then maybe spinning crane kick for aoe situations i do like that combo i it is somewhat limited when you can't get into range when you can't get into melee positions some bosses don't really allow it or let's say you're running with like three or four melee and you can't really get in there maybe because there is quaking or things like that you have to use your crackling jade knighting to compensate for it the dps can be pushed really hard depending on what trinkets you use depending on what azurite traits you use but overall miss we were single target healing the aoe healing true again essence font is a good ability a good aoe ability in five man situations where you can double proc your mastery again the stat priority is shifting towards more mastery because you can proc your mastery more and things like that the healing is great single target healing is the best in the game dps my personal opinion is a fun play style but i do miss the rest of druid kitty weaving dps play style and that's what i'm gonna talk about resto druids now resto druid play style is a lot different there's there's quite a few different healing talents that people choose like, to an extent i could mention that resto druids have the most options or the most viable talent options in five man situations where you can use things like you know photosynthesis you can use things like germination you can even get away with flourish you can use spring blossoms inner piece you can use stone back there is so like there's so many options depending on what your group needs now there has been some talent builds that emerged as the you know the global cooldown friendly where photosynthesis is picked where things like scenario ward is picked spring blossoms are picked where you rely on hots and you rely on your group to get healed up through your hot healing while you maximize your dps in kitty form and kitty form is extremely fun because you're able to go into kitty form you apply bleeds maybe you apply some finishes and things like that and if there's healing needed you can apply hot so you can apply your efflorescence and things like that and people are gonna get healed up now this is a build that's not extremely safe for poke scenarios a lot of people will tell you that mm, if you need to babysit you might be better off going with germination but cat weaving in my opinion is extremely extremely fun there's something about dots that really appeals to me let's say for example there's going to be a ton of healing needed and you can't really dps that much as the rest of jude just applying stonefire on one target that's surrounded by all the mobs apply stonefire to everyone else and using one global cooldown can lead to a good amount of damage and dots can be really strong on higher mythic keys where you know mobs are gonna live a long time and it doesn't require a lot of global cooldowns to dish out a decent amount of dps and when you can dps you go into kitty form and it's extremely fun to put bleeds and rely on your hots to heal everyone else up which can it's a different play style and again both of those healers in five month situations are extremely strong resto Jude single target healing does rely more on hots like for example a lot of people will be picking photosynthesis and they're keeping life loom on the tank keeping rejuvenation on the tank keeping scenario ward on the tank maybe spring blossom hot on the tank as well and all of a sudden your hot stack up stack up stack up and in case your tank needs some extra healing your regrowth which is decent spell but it also applies a hot on them which again applies mastery and you have growth tending as a right trade when you swift man someone it applies a hot on them as well so again masteries keep stacking up and stacking up and therefore the single ta single target healing is relatively good and your tank will survive on this depending on which tank you play or you play with and things like that but the playstyle is very fun and both of them are very very competitive in five man situations 
Now, if we look at the 8.1 changes, Miss Weavers didn't really receive that many changes. Like, there is a nerf to Miss Weavers right now. Enveloping Mist has been reduced in the terms of healing that it provides. Now, the Enveloping Mist nerf here is not that big, in my opinion. Again, I feel Blizzard is kind of tackling the best single target healer here because Miss Weavers are slowly, or at least, they're getting recognized for their single target healing. People are like, well, we need extreme single target healing, we'll provide Miss Weaver Monk. And Blizzard is kind of nerfing Enveloping Mist, which will nerf their single target healing, but I don't see this as a very big nerf. I feel this is a Blizzard's way of kind of making sure that every everyone feels equal in terms of what they provide, but I don't see it as that big. Now, the Restoration Druid nerfs are a lot more significant. Now, Tranquility... The direct healing of Tranquility and the hot portion healing of Tranquility has been nerfed quite a lot to an extent that it could affect the Tranquility Flourish combo in a great way. Again, Wild Growth has been buffed to kind of compensate for that and it makes a lot of sense because Wild Growth has lost a lot of its appeal coming from Legion into BFA and now they're trying to make Wild Growth more powerful to an extent that they're trying to make their Tranquility less powerful. And I can see why they're doing that, because maybe some Resto Druids feel like their, you know, their whole playstyle is evolved around using their cooldowns or through their cooldowns, and Blizzard wants to kind of feel more important outside of cooldown usage, so Wild Growth is being buffed. Again, this buff doesn't seem, or the Wild Growth buff doesn't seem big enough to compensate for the Tranquility nerf. Who knows? Maybe... Flourish is not going to be the go-to choice in raiding scenarios. Maybe Inner Peace is not going to be a go-to scenario in raiding scenarios anymore. There is a chance that the raiding talent built for Resto Jews is going to shift a lot. Again, I don't want to talk about this too much because the numbers, in terms of the pure numbers of the nerfs or the buffs, they change all the time. Blizzard even reverts some of these changes. But I can see what Blizzard is thinking. They don't want Resto Jews to rely on their healing cooldowns as much. And they want you to feel more powerful outside of those cooldowns. And it kind of makes sense. And I can see why they're not buffing Rejuvenation, because if they're over buff Rejuvenation, we're going to be back to the Legion playstyle where it was all about spamming Rejuve and to the top of the meters. But we'll see how it goes. I hope you enjoyed this video. The overall summary of this video would be both of the healers are extremely good in ratings and 5-man situations. 8.1 changes kind of look scary in terms of what's going to happen to rest of Druids, but we'll have to see because there's still quite some time left and Blizzard is always changing things around. A lot of this video provides my personal opinions so you might agree you might disagree let me know in which parts you agree with maybe i missed something about in terms of the gameplay and things like that let me know guys thank you for watching this video and hopefully i'll be back in the new place in the next couple of days thank you guys and i'll see you in my next video